Hi moms, welcome back to my channel, Mom and a Million. This is Mommy Evie, and today we will play Chef as Mondays are for Mom Meals and Menus. So the recipe that I'll be sharing you today is a recipe that I have learned a few years back when I served my mission, and I had a lot of Mexican friends. So if you're familiar with stuffed capsicums, the big bell peppers, or stuffed bell peppers, um, but today, I will be doing it the Filipino way, the Filipino style. So, I will show you and let's see. So, let's start cooking. Okay, so here is our capsicum. So, the really big bell peppers. So, the last time my husband went out to buy groceries, I asked him to buy one. So, I can try making the recipe again. Um, so, just make sure that when you buy this, um, you would use it and not let it be rotten in the fridge because this is really some kind of pricey for one like this it is 97 pesos so we will see um how it would turn out as we make it into filipino style what we're gonna do is we need to divide it into half make sure the capsicum is still firm like this can we make or so yes or not wait here and then we need to get the seeds. What are you doing, Mommy? Um, I am making this stuff to capsicum recipe. I want to make a soup. Okay. I will call you, okay? And so then, that you can help me. So it looks like this. Give me my apron, huh? Okay. So that was Eve. She really likes to be a chef. That's her ultimate dream. And she was so young when she knew. She was like one year old. When she declared that she wanted to be a chef. So every time I cook, she would always offer her help. Okay, so you just get the seeds. Here, make sure there are no more seeds. And then make sure you get this. I just, it's so difficult to cut it with a knife, so I use scissors. Because it, we need to make sure that the capsicum divided into half would stand on its own because this would serve as a um, the plate for our stuffing. I mean the bowl for our stuffing. So this is how it looks. Okay. So these are the ingredients that we need for this recipe. Since we only have one capsicum and it would divide it into half, we only need one-fourth ground pork. Um, usually the real caps Mexican capsicums they use ground beef, but I do not have ground beef so I'll be using ground pork and then onions tomatoes and Of course garlic and um, Usually we use um, Corn kernels, but I do not have that so I just use potatoes. So basically it is like a uh, ginaling or giniling recipe okay so for seasoning I would like to put um, the usual of course um, salt pepper I like to sprinkle it with cayenne pepper and um, I made this um, salsa it's a homemade salsa that I made because I like to eat chips and salsa so which I'll be maybe sharing to you in my next um, meal episodes um yeah i will so that we can have a like a mexican feel so i will add a little salsa okay so you just um get these ingredients i don't usually measure everything okay so um i think as moms you already know when to stop so just follow your instincts okay so just of course the usual warm the pan so just put a little oil. Then the onions. 
your bag. Everything in here to me. You have to do those. You have to do those. Yes. Wow. You look so pretty. And of course, I will need. Salsa. If you do not have salsa, you can just put the regular tomato sauce. And then the salsa has cheese also, so you can put tomato sauce and cheese. This is spicy because the salsa I made was really spicy. So I'm going to cook chicken for the kids. So here, until it's soft and then it's cooked, um, the real stuffed uh, Mexican capsicums, they actually put rice. So it's up to you if you put rice into it or not, but yeah, we'll put a little rice so that we'll try it. Just a little. And then let's just continue mixing it. Just a little rice. So that we'll just get to have a feel of the stuffed, the original stuffed um, bell peppers. Okay? Because, of course, we're Filipinos. Um, we will still eat this with rice, so <laughs> just a little rice in there. There, so you can see, it actually smells good, I hope you can smell it. There, so once it is ready, we just need to stuff our capsicums with it. Wow. Here, we're, we are gonna stuff the capsicums. Okay. Stuff it. here sorry it's really messy when I cook my husband tells me that okay okay here okay so this actually needs baking so we need to put it in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes 
175 degrees Celsius. Okay, so I will put this in and then let's see. So I would put it in my sun so that I can so I can bake it. Or you can put it in your baking pan. Sugar. If you have cheese, then it would also be um, really nice because it would look so nice because the cheese will be melted here. Okay. Here they look so pretty. I'll put this in the oven. Here they go in, inside the oven. So it's 175 degrees Celsius. Um, for about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay. Okay, so we are about a minute left before I take them out from the oven. So I'm also done cooking chicken for, for the kids. So I'm really excited how it would turn out. Here. So here are beautiful capsicums. I just took them out from the oven. So look at it. It looks beautiful, but like I said, it would be more, um, it, look, it would look more um, beautiful um, if we have cheese on top. But I do not have cheese, so if you have cheese at home, you can actually use it, okay? So we will plate it. Okay, okay here, so this is ready to eat. I have plated it already, so... Um, look at how beautiful our capsicum is, tuft Mexican capsicum, or um, Mexican capsicum inspired, but this is the Filipino style. Um, like I said, you can add cheese on top, and it will turn out to be more um, tempting. So I have chicken and then the stuffing left over so I just put it there because it has a little rice make sure that when you eat it you slice it together with uh, the bell pepper or the capsicum and it would be so tasty my husband said it's really yummy and he really likes it okay enjoy your dinner everyone dinner is over so here is the evidence that um, my stuffed capsicum, the Filipino style, was really a hit. So my husband loved it so much. So there, we are done with dinner time and we are finished with one recipe. The Mexican inspired stuffed capsicum or stuffed bell peppers, the Filipino style. I am glad how it turned out. My husband said it was really tasty and it was really yummy when we eat it together, the stuffing and the capsicum. It may just look like a normal Filipino giniling or giniling, but it's actually more special with the capsicum on it. It also made me remember my good Mexican friends, especially a very good friend of mine, Iris. Um, this recipe is for you. Um, also, I am excited to share more recipes in the coming um, segments. I'll be sharing um, menus and meals from the fancy ones to the budget meals, 10-minute min recipes, um, also from appetizers to desserts. I hope it would be um, of help and you'll be able to try it. Um, if you wanted the recipe, I will be posting it on my Instagram page and my Facebook page. So please follow me on um, Mom and a Million in Facebook and in Instagram. And I hope to be able to share with you more recipes, menus, and meals. I hope you'll have a great day and thank you so much for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. Bye.